Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully I have it set right one more time. Anyway, as I was saying quietly, I'm just working a little bit trying to flush out a little more where I want the actual holes of the holes of the holes, I guess is the right way to say it. Yeah, I think that looks okay. So we got this this is flush and I've got a huge area here and I talked um, last time that I might put like a water hazard here. I'm not exactly sure what I might use to make the water. Um, there aren't too many pieces that really work effectively for a water effect. I I've got some lots of blue crystals but they don't size up very well so it would take quite a few of them to to cover a large area and they're oddly shaped so that would be another issue um, we have the The blue light lounge table. I've used this one in the past for um, a waterfall effect and it worked really nice and it does size up pretty good. Um, but again it's awkward in its construction and, and just what kind of uh, effects and things that you can put on, you know, put it Put it to, I mean, if I want like a rounded, like a, a bit of a pool here, that's not going to work really well. Now, I know there is a round uh, version of this table, but I've not come across one myself, so I can't, I can't use that. So I'm left with, you know, wondering what I could put here in place of a water hazard, um, since I don't think I can effectively pull one off. I have a few, let's see. What kind of electronics do I have? See, I could maybe get away with using this, possibly. With a lot of covering for the, the metal parts. Or possibly this. This, this might be a better choice. Let's see what we can fill around with, with this one here. It's got a lot of odd bits uh, poking out and um, flip, flip. But I don't know. It's, it's curves and, and Colors are hard to see on this blue.
the power uh, map one yet? Sort of, maybe, kinda. So, like, if I try to use that as is, it's gonna take some work to hide the the arms, all all of the brackets. But if I can manage it, that would be kind of a a nifty little addition to this. I'm wondering if it would be better to have it flip the other way so that... Oh, that just kind of wonked it up, didn't it? No, don't do it that way. This way, this way. People are discovering I'm very clumsy with this stuff. I don't have a click in it and it's not lighting up. There we go. Too far. So it's going to be right there. See, now that bugs me because I want to leave. Um, an area for the ball to go go through, so I'm gonna have to turn this a little more. did get me uh, one of the new ones from the new zone. Looks pretty, pretty nifty. And then of course we got the regular uh, round swirly ones. With the little swirly mark on it. Let's see how this looks um, enlarged and in place. If these work well, then I may um, opt to purchase a few more just to keep this particular section the same. Maybe it would be better if the water hazard was across it and then build a little bridge that the ball has to go over to bypass the water. Hmm. That might that might be better, more interesting. So let me see. Let's let's place that and then we're going to link this to that. We're gonna turn it.
So again, I kind of have a plan, but then I don't. I just kind of wing it. And, and that effectively covers all that extra little gappy right there. Most of it anyway. And alleviates the issue of the brackets right in the middle. It can, yeah, I think this will work good. So what I'll do is I'll uh, purchase probably uh, maybe three or four more to work up uh, along this side in here. Well, I could just um, throw this one up to add just another rock type. odd sitting up there but for now it covers up the, the junk but yeah I think that'll work okay now if I can um, think about what I'm going to use as the bridge to cross over the water I actually have a bridge, um, I think it's the Orin, yeah, the Orin arched one. I think if I reduce it down, it won't span the bridge well enough, but we will we'll check it out anyway just to have a look. It, it may help trigger um, another idea that would work better. Let's see. No, 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 no. Yes, yeah, I think it'll be fairly large. I mean, it's still kind of, you get the idea that the ball would have to, to go over it. So maybe that'll work okay. I can leave it, at least it, I get away with uh, just having to use the one piece rather than building it from scratch. Because again, you know, the thought of the core count is always in the back of your mind. So the fewer pieces that you have to use um, in certain places, the better. Like here. You know, I'm going to use something, either more rocks, or little stones, or something to uh, cover up the edge of this um, monitor piece. But since I've moved this to kind of cover up the, the edging there, I might get away with not putting as much as I, I would otherwise. See how that might work, okay. So in theory, you would have another bit of rock here and the ball would have to get hit and go over the bridge. And then we'll put the next hole here.
why does that thing keep going mute? Might have been because I touched it. This is part of the problem with having too much in your crate. There's like just a gargantuan amount of things, possibilities, and you're not quite sure what you might want to use. gonna use it like the tree. We're gonna bake it a little bit, I think. I give like an appearance of like little little hills or something. So as I'm playing around, you know, I'll see that works good and then I'll go, well, maybe I need to get me a couple more pieces of that. Luckily I have an extra one. So you can see if we can do the same thing over here. And of course we're going to want to turn it differently than the first one to keep it uh, a little interesting and since I don't like necessarily even numbers a lot of times I will probably get a hold of a third one I think I can make these so uh, get a third one and put it here just to kind of break it up but it's, it's always good to work in odd numbers in a lot of ways, unless it specifically needs an even, but in this case, I prefer to stick with odd if I can. And, you know, since it's a miniature golf course, I could um, get a little goofy and maybe put, like, um, a little flag of some sort sticking on up the top here and then have a little plushy lop or something to make him look like he's um, claiming the, the little green mountain for his own. Just uh, to give the whole uh, a little more character. But those, uh, those details will come in later. You know, I, I'll, usually when I go through this building process, it's like a layer upon layer upon layer. You first get the general outline of what you want to do, and then you work from there, and you just keep adding to it. And as you add, you may decide, well, that isn't quite working, and you change it, and you modify it, and you just keep doing it. You just keep tweaking and, and until you get it to the way you want. It. 
So yeah, let me uh, note those down. I need another willow. And probably about three of the new stones. Three to five, we'll put three to five. And then, um, what else was I wanting? Probably another, um, thinker or two. Just making some notes so I can, when I go back to town and either craft or go shopping on the auction house, I'll know what to get. Always gotta have a shopping list. Okay, so I still need to put the hole in for, for this one, so let me double check what the size was, 241. some drowning noise in the background besides the usual that's probably the motorcycle that just went by. We live on a relatively quiet street um, but at certain times of the day there seems to be an increased bit of traffic so because our our road is like a go-between between two main roads so a lot of people like to take a shortcut to get to the one and Happens to be our road that they choose. So yeah, that looks good. Took it down in the bottom here. Now this is gonna be a little a little not flush as I'd like it, so what I'll probably do is just move it over a bit. Still, still not quite, since that's a bit of a hill here. So what I could do is just, just nudge it, just, just enough to get it to, to blend a little better. There we go. It's a hole. Big beautiful hole. Okay. So now we've got uh, the next little platform here to fiddle with. flush, I think. I got that bit of rock sticking out just a little bit, but we're going to try. Might be pretty high on this end. Yeah. Let's try that again. drastic as before but it's all right I think okay this one's pretty good and snaky already so we're probably just gonna put maybe um, a hazard or two here and one here and then well no Maybe just two hazards here and then the whole this is kind of a hazard in its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, how many more do I need? One, two, three, five I think. Let's go ahead and grab five tanks. Let's 
still got enough uh, space, I think. me looking over there I'm just checking to make sure I'm not missing anything in chat. Not really anything going on in there much but um, I want to stay in the habit of looking. Uh, two for one I think it was. For the size. For crying out loud, I'm gonna have to change that setting, I guess. In fact, I wonder if I can do that while I'm. I don't know if that will work or not. We will try it, but I appreciate you repeatedly telling me that I'm not being heard because it's important that people can hear it. I don't know why it keeps, I'm not pushing the, the, the button to turn it off, I don't, I don't know what it is. OBS is just being cranky with me, I guess. So what was I saying? Um, 
Windmill, right, windmill. Now it probably won't actually, well, it could. Again, I was wanting to incorporate some like moving parts, like, um, see, I don't know if I've got it in, yeah, like, I would like to maybe find some way to use these particular bits, the moving parts. in some form or fashion, whether it be hidden inside something else. Um, I can't think of another one off the top of my head. Uh, maybe the pro. Uh, there's a lot of animated um, decor. I've got a list around here. I've got list after list. Uh, that I would like to try and uh, incorporate into the the hazards instead of just making a straightforward, you know, just over the bridge and boop. But that will take some time to um, decide how I'm going to do that because obviously that that sign I don't want all of it showing. I just want the, the either the leg or the tail or or something. But like, like with the windmill, if I put a windmill over here, I don't think there's anything that has an actual rotating blade effect going. But um, I, you know, it doesn't mean I can't build it. It would just be stationary if I if I made one. Um, see like this, I could uh, put in some kind of a somewhere, I could put a box and have the hole at the bottom and then have that floating in and out of where the hole would be, the tunnel part, and have that behave like, um, you know, kind of like a door opening and closing. And they have to time their their little putt just right so that it doesn't get blocked by the little obstacle. So that's you know one one idea, piece of an idea kind of thing. If I, I'm gonna put that here just to remind myself. The, the issue is the the movement is so slow and subtle. might not be easily picked up by someone coming through. They may miss that it actually... I don't know, it's, it's a thought, whether or not I can actually pull it off, I, I have no idea at this point. But for now, um, let's just uh, see where we want the hole. Do I want to put it here, or probably here would be best. So. Again. I was thinking maybe the sound kept going off because I fiddle with the keyboard, uh, the, the number pad over here, but I'm still not pushing the key that's actually uh, set up for the, the mic, so I don't know why it was shutting off.
So now I'm going to be looking constantly for not just the chat, but for the silly microphone business. Because Lyra will not be there to save the day all the time. Okay. So, yeah, let's move this this way. Ah, oh, close. Slant this one a bit. It's got a good wall on the other side, so it's good. And this one's hole will probably be right about here. So we'll drop that in. close to the side there, I may end up having to really raise this side up just to get this to sort out right. Let's see how it works. as I worried because the rocks were there anyway so but I wanted to be sure and make sure there was still a bit of a, a wall here to signify that as the end of that hole. Okay so we got this one, sneaky sneaky, we'll drop the hole right around here. drop down and slant it to the side. Oh, kind of flush, kind of wall. Okay. It's coming together. It's starting to look like a course, kind of. Last hole, keep one a type hole, but it's not called a hole. Celery's just running all around, isn't he? He's excited. We're just about done with the holes. Yay! 
Okay, so let's have a look, see if we can get a little better view. Yeah, I think that, I think that works okay. They all look good. Starting to have some rhythm to it, I think. Oops, forget about that invisible whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Just the... The collision there between the poles. Okay, so before um, this earlier this morning, I worked on putting together um, one of the snack tables. Um, the plan is again, I'm, like the odd numbers, I'm wanting to put in three, so this will probably move a little more this way, and then have a second around here somewhere, and then a third. And I thought about using like the triangle pieces um, especially since they're they're coming in the new um, textures and everything but I think it ended up being way too complicated for me and I like the plates uh, they're another they're like the bananas they're very versatile you can use it in all sorts of ways so I think it turned out all right. I, I could get fancier and add another little bit of a, a scallop here on each side just to round it up a little bit, but for now I think this is, it's simple enough, it doesn't use a whole lot of pieces, but it has an interesting uh, look. I mean, it's not like the item is actually an actual item, it's, it's my own creation, so they're you aren't likely to see this uh, configuration in other places. If you do, then um, maybe they're on my brainwave or something, but... I've used plates before as actually the, uh, this part, the, the table, um, but I, I, think it's, I think it'll be fun to use them as the, the parasol themselves. And it adds a little bit of brightness over here instead of all of the dark gray that I've gone for for the walls and, and the the beams and stuff. I think that will I think that will work alright. I'm not entirely sure about this. I'm gonna leave it for now and of course I'm gonna have to uh, look into getting a couple getting my hands on a couple more. But um, yeah, that's that's something that I'll I'll work on. Anywho, it's time for a break from the housing bit.